Hi everyone, Patchman21 back with another ghastly unboxing. And today, it's Geek Gear, I think. Feels like Geek Gear. Bullseye. Should we open it up and find out? It is Geek Gear. So it's quite a large box today. Um, get this out. Um, if there's a theme, I'm not aware of it. If you would like to get your own box, there'll be a link in the description for some money off your first your first order. It obviously gives me a little chance to uh, to get a, a few pennies off mine as well. So it's September's Geek Gear. Right, shall we rip it open and have a look? The costumes will obviously be popping up on the uh, your left hand side. Um, sorry, my left hand side, your right hand side. God damn. So uh, what we're aiming at is positive figure to indicate that we've got value for money from this box. So loaded it up. There's a tissue paper and a t-shirt on top. So we'll pop that out and have a look. It's a Joker one, which is nice. Just Joker. Ha uh ha -huh. yeah, I like it. It's a medium, so I won't be wearing it. But again, I find these overly colourful ones really aren't up my street. But I know a lot of people do like it. I've got no problem with that. It's a good-looking shirt. It's a Gildan soft style, ring spun. So it feels good, looks good. Uh, yeah, nice shirt, but I say I won't be wearing it. So what else have we got in here? Well, there is a tube with a, a poster in it, and a looks like a... Certificate of Authenticity. This is Geek's, Geek Gear's exclusive art print and has been hand signed by the artist Paul Tonner. Now I have had one from Tonner before, uh, which was actually quite good. So let's see if this one holds up. I'll use the same price that I did for that one when it comes to the costings of it. Yeah, very nice. like that very much. It's a good, good image, good poster. I shall put that one up quite happily. Yes, okay. Really good quality as well. The um, the feel of it is good. I like the the sort of the frame where it steps out. So they've got the upper section frame and then the uh, the batteries and bits and pieces step outside the frame. So it's a it's, it's a good a good poster. Uh, there's something in bubble wrap. So let's have a look at that. Oh, it's a mug, <laughs> which I'm hoping is a glow in the dark mug. This looks really good. It's uh, uh, well, it's a mug. It's a mug with a, cr a bat symbol on it, but it appears cracked. That is really nice. It's good because I've stupidly been putting my other bat mug in the um, in the dishwasher, and the and it's a glow in the dark one with a, just a simple bat symbol. It starts to peel away. So yeah, my own stupid fault. It should be hand washed. But uh, that, no, that's a nice mug. It's um, it's branded, so it's a proper bat mug, <laughs> as used by Batman. It's unlikely, but uh, there you go. That's okay, and it's not a lot of packaging. A bit of bubble wrap makes sense to me. Not a huge box. Okay, there is their manual, September, so the theme is Batman, I'm thinking I'll start to get there anyway. I'll have a look at that if I remember in a sec. And don't forget, patchy fact coming up at the end. It's not bat related, it's absolutely nothing to do with this, but it is a patchy fact. And if you want to talk to me about patchy facts, I'm open to the subject. I'm, um, I'm thinking of doing an entire series of patchy facts. So, uh, so we'll talk about that later, shall we? And just get on with the box. Oh, we've got these. Festival wristbands. No, nah. I don't know what the fad is with those, but I just, no, I don't use them. They just get stuck in the drawer. Oh, this looks interesting. Belt and gift wallet set. I'll say that properly. Belt and wallet gift set. That's more like it. That was actually really cool. Now, 
So if you can get a better look at them, I'm going to have to take them out of their sealed packaging, which means they are no longer a gift set for anybody but me. This looks pretty good. Again, these are it's off an off-the-shelf item, so it's going to be fairly. I'm confident it'll be fairly easy to price, but it does look really nice. Wow, that is. Actually, pretty good. I don't know, is that leather or pleather? It's hard to tell. There's no sort of indication. Let me just quickly check. Yeah, it doesn't actually say whether it's leather or not. It, it feels sort of leathery. It has a sort of leather smell to it, but it could be pleather. But it's quite straightforward. A simple little motif. I'm just going to pop that back in. We do it that way. Yes, we'll do it, do it that way, shall we? Well, sure, no, we'll do it that way. I'm going to skip over that, it's just fucking embarrassing. And the belt. Now, I'm quite tubby, so I doubt this will be big enough for me. Well, it might be, but that's not bad. Fairly understated belt buckle, but a lot of Batman stuff going on there, so I don't think I'll be able to do it. Um, a little bit... Uh, a little bit too Batman-y for my liking. <laughs> I don't think I'll get away, but I like as items go, I do like them. It's different, and it's certainly a thing, and we love things in this household. So there we go, we have a Batman presentation set. I'll put that back together another time. I'm going to stick that there for now. And I think that's it. We've just got the print to go. Now this went down like a cold cup of sick last time. The way of getting it out is pulling that at work this time, thank God. So instead of scrabbling around, just use that. And it's a back print. I've got a couple of these, and I, I do like it. That's pretty damn good. That could go up. Now, what I tend to do with these is, as I said, put them away somewhere safe, and uh, use them as giveaways, or sell them, or give them to friends, or friends' kids, or whatever. But, uh, but that one's pretty damn good. I'll, um, I'll definitely be keeping that, and probably be putting it up. Anyway, there we go. I hope you uh, enjoyed that unboxing, and uh, tell me what you think of the items, the process. Um, leave a like, subscribe, throw me a few bulb on Patreon if you fancy that. And uh, here's your patchy fact for the day. Danny DeVito is currently the world's tallest dwarf. I've been Patch Bone 21. Thanks for watching. Bye.